I absolutely love our new home. This is my favorite room in the whole house. It's called the Hollywood Room. The pool I have at 98 degrees right now because I hate cold water. Kim Zolchek Bierman might know all about how not to be tardy for a party, but now she's learning that you definitely don't want to be tardy for the mortgage. Rumors are swirling that the former Bravo star's longtime home is facing foreclosure. The very one where she shot so much of series like The Real Housewives of Atlanta and her own spinoff, Don't Be Tardy. Between those two shows, we've watched Kim and her retired NFL husband, Croy Evan Bierman, as well as their four kids, Croy, Cash, Kane, and Kaya, grow into a family before our very eyes. So on today's house tour, we're going to get to the bottom of this story while also giving you a taste. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you wanna see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. of Kim's incredible piece of property. The heart of this story begins a year prior to buying their residence when Kim and Croy got married in a glam wedding that aired on Bravo. In 2012, the couple then purchased a six bedroom mansion for only $880,000 in Alpharetta, Georgia. First built in 2008, this 17,000 square foot estate features a majestic 6,907 square foot main property. Shortly after, the reality TV star moved into what would become her dream home and quickly took to gushing about the Lux residence that featured not only a home movie theater, but a fully stocked gym, spa, basketball courts, and a man cave for her hubby. Situated in the Manor Golf and Country Club, right by the 18th hole near Lake Kim's one-of-a-kind home includes a sprawling kitchen with wooden floors, marble countertops, and a huge stove, complemented by some fancy wallpaper. The open plan layout of the home also leads into a gigantic living room with dark furniture, wooden beam ceilings, a wet bar, and lots of wood panels. Meanwhile, another room on the ground floor is used as a study and includes a lavish throne-like armchair that's been placed next to dark wood cabinets as well well as a grand fireplace. And if that isn't grand enough for you, how about the self-portrait of Kim hanging in a place of honor above the fireplace? Elsewhere, Kim's home features a space nicknamed the Candy Cane Room, and that not only boasts a red and white striped couch, but a glamorous crystal chandelier hanging directly above it. As nice as that room looks, it's maybe not quite as glam as Kim's incredible dining room that not only comes with bling on the chairs and drapes, but some ultra rare Versace China. It's just too bad Kim never gets around to using it. Then in the central foyer of her home, there's a massive staircase that Kim likes to pose next to and a cream colored chair that sits at the bottom of the steps. And speaking of steps, if you're not really feeling up to those, you could always hop on the home's elevator. Although Kim apparently only likes to use that for a different kind of ride. All those amazing features, and I haven't even touched upon her favorite parts of the home yet. So let's check those out next. During a live tour of her home shortly after buying it, Kim revealed that her entertainment room, aka the Hollywood room, is her favorite spot in the entire place. For the most part, this space acts as Kim Daughter's TV room where they often hang out with their friends, but it's also the perfect spot for Kim to chill out by herself on either the large wraparound white sofa or those comfortable cushions placed in front of the mounted TV. And if she's ever looking for a little peace and quiet, Kim can escape to her backyard, which includes an in-ground pool as well as a relaxing hot tub that she keeps at precisely the right temperature. Last but not least, a few years ago, Kim had a professional grade hair salon installed on the property. And I can't possibly imagine she or anyone else in her clique are ever gonna go anywhere else to get their hair done. That is until recent events. You see, Kim and her hubby's finances haven't been doing all that hot lately. For starters, Croy was accused of owing his former NFL agent $22,000 in unpaid fees in October, 2020. He even once admitted to losing $250,000 while gambling in the Bahamas. All of this, no doubt, provided the necessary smoke to kick off the rumors that they've been dealing with money problems. Then their TV show got canceled and all hell broke loose. 
Following the cancellation of Don't Be Tardy, reports would surface all around the internet that Kim had been forced to auction off her multi-million dollar home for paltry $257,000. Needless to say, Kim did her best to nip this story in the bud by taking to social media in an attempt to deny these reports. While filming inside her tremendous estate, Kim not only promised she'll never leave until she decided it was time for her to do so, but in her typical confrontational style, she also informed anyone who believed the reports that they're both gullible and an idiot. Digging into this story a bit more, there's a report from page six in October of this year, which noted that while Kim's house did indeed face foreclosure in 2014, the family eventually settled that debt. Almost a decade ago, Kim was given a letter that basically says local authorities can take a piece of a property and sell it in order to satisfy the owner's debt or tax obligation. At that time, Kim and her husband had a lien against their house. It was overdue to the amount of over $10,000. But according to page six, that debt was canceled after it was paid in full by the family shortly after. But after paying off the lien, Kim and Croy then took out a $300,000 loan to finish renovating their home. And according to multiple sources, it's now this loan that's causing the family foreclosure issues in 2022. Fulton County real estate records suggest that Kim modified the loan in January 2018. At the time, roughly $271,000 was still owed and the monthly payment plan was altered to a little over $1,100 a month. The legal notice detailing this information was first posted on Reddit in October 2022 and clearly stated that Kim's home would be sold at public auction to the highest bidder for cash. Media outlet Heavy would confirm the authenticity of that legal notice while suggesting that in order to get themselves out from underneath this mess, Kim and Croy could potentially file for bankruptcy or seek court action to stop this foreclosure. According to a Georgia-based law firm, when or if the home is successfully auctioned off, any excess funds after the loan, interest, and attorney's fees are paid will go to the couple's original mortgage. Any remaining funds would then be given to the Beermans. Considering this property is estimated to be worth somewhere in the ballpark of $2.5 million, you just know that Kim doesn't want to see her house being sold off for pennies on the dollar. But it really might not be up to her at this point. According to the initial legal notice, Kim's home was going to be auctioned off on the first Tuesday in November 2022, a date that's already come and gone. Kim posted her message denying the legitimacy of the reports about three or four days after that date had passed. So maybe she is telling the truth. It's hard to know exactly what's going on here, though I gotta say, if the choice is between believing a government agency or someone who's made a living off of reality TV. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this special look into the foreclosure of Kim Zolchak's mansion to an end. Before you head out, do me a favor and answer me this question. If rumors that you were forced to sell your home for far less than it was worth hit the internet, would you deny, deny, I deny or keep quiet and let things play out. Let me know what you would do in Kim's shoes in the comments down below. Otherwise, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in another house tour. Bye.